Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today this is a small small thing in the data center and it has to do with a graphics card in a server and up here over here I have a server that I've put in a graphics card uh, see that video I'll link it or something right here and there is a minor twitch hiccup with that system and that is when you I'm gonna turn it on because this, it takes quite a while when the server turns on there's a picture on the monitor and um, it's there for a while and I'm just gonna move in to the other side right here is the monitor and right now there's picture on this monitor and it's booting but in the booting process the the internal graphics changes to the new graphics card in the server and this has some consequences as we can see in just a little bit there it is the monitor has gone up it says it doesn't have a signal anymore and that's it's not really a problem because I can go around the back and change the clock. Let's do that. Let's go. Uh, oops, what did I do? Nothing. Okay. Let's go around the back here. And right here is the server. And this is the internal screen. So if we unplug that and put it up here. there we should again have a picture on our monitor and we do so that's great no problem um, but not true let's go see why here I have my computer and I want to do a remote takeover of this server so I'm gonna log in user ID and password password we have zero instead of an O And I want to do a remote control because I want to see that the server is doing funny stuff. So, what is it doing? And it will load this. That's cool. And it's going to load the remote control to the server. And there's all kind of Java junk. There it is. But I don't have a picture because uh, the picture is on the other graphics card and the IMM adapter in this IBM server is forwarding the picture from the internal graphics card to the remote session here so I do not have a picture on this the server will work okay if I, if I have a like windows out there that would be working okay and I would be able to make a remote desktop uh, to that windows or do whatever but this is not working and I want to show you how to fix that and it's really simple let's go back to the server data center thing here it is and it's uh, Booting VMware ESXi uh, 5.1. I'm gonna let it do that and I'm gonna shut it down again. I have just told the ESXi to shut down again. Let's see if it listens. Okay, I'm booting the server and I just went into the BIOS and on this server there is actually a setting under device and IO ports that enables you to tell the server to use set active video console on in this in the system and right now it's set to add in device so that's the new device if I choose that and just select onboard device 
uh, the system will not use the graphics card that, is, that I put in. Um, and that might not be very good if this is a Windows server, but I'm gonna be using this for VMware and I'm gonna be forwarding this graphics card to a, to a VMware machine on the server. So for me, this option is great. So I've chosen that, so I'm gonna go back out. Are we gonna save? Save settings. And I'm gonna exit setup there. And blah blah blah. Yes. And I noticed that I have to have to turn off the server. I'm just gonna wait until there's a signal. Oh, there's not gonna be a signal because now it's over um, the normal graphics. So I'm just gonna power it off and power it on again. And we're gonna go around the back and change the cable again. Here it is. There we are, and in there. Oops. Now when we come back here, the server is booting. And the signal stays on the server. And that's not all. If we go into the computer, The signal is also here. So right now I still have the signal on the computer even though there is an extra graphics card in the system. Well yeah this way I'm able to have a graphics card in the server and I'm hoping to pass it forward to a virtual machine on the server and still be able to uh, remote control the server from far away or you know, you're not usually in the data center like I am now. It's not normal to have a data center at home. So, well, thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And um, come over and say hello over at Google+. Um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.